will give the Almighty God the homies. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to officially welcome every one of us to this wonderful event. He said, in our midst this afternoon, we we'll have Her Excellency, of course, the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Oluremi Tenungo. Please, a round of applause for her. Joke Sowulu, please, a round of applause for her. And of course, Her Excellency, the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Bakele Abiodun. Please, a round of applause for her too. Here in Lake Lagos, Thursday, 18 July, 2024. This marks a significant milestone in our commitment to delivering exceptional healthcare services that are compassionate, ethical, and cutting edge. My journey began, began a long time, and a lot of my close associates, since I came back to Nigeria, and when I came back in the 80s, even to get an x-ray was a challenge. The loop we had, the x-ray was, um, machine was broken down. I always said, I'm going to have a diagnostic center. And that's what the, the mission and passion, over the years, is decades of passion and mission. Our journey began with a vision to create a healthcare facility that not only meets but exceeds the exceptions of our community. We as aspired to, to establish a place where advanced medical technology that can be got anywhere in the world can be got to Nigeria and healthcare, health health care converge, providing an unparalleled healing environment. As we open our doors today, I am delighted to start, share that our vision has become a reality. On this stage, I also pause again. You can always have a vision, but sometimes you can't actualize your vision because you, have, you don't have the backing of people to help you out, give you advice, and also financial backing. On my knees, I'm thanking my father because without him, that man wouldn't be here today. Please let me rise and thank Sir Dr. Kessintin and Debo Goga and Debo too. That Your support has been instrumental in making this dream a reality. We are honored to serve the people of Lagos and Nigeria in extension and are committed to making a positive impact on the health and well-being of our community. We are excited to embark on the journey. This journey will, it's not only one person, it's a journey we'll all take together with you to become a trusted partner in your health and well-being. Thank you for being part of, being, of this special day and your support as we open our doors to the community. Together we'll build a healthier future for Nigeria. Together we'll build a better Nigeria for all of us, Africa and beyond. Welcome to the future of healthcare. Women's regards. Thank you very much and God bless you all. I'm being corrected and let me appreciate my husband. He has been my pillar. And that's the truth. Mr. Olumu, you are. Dolora, are you around? And um, I want to invite the MD Bank of Industry, Mr. Olashubo Olusi. Please round of applause for him as he comes for his good messages. In the commissioning of Diamond Hospital for my daughter, Dr. Mrs. Abiola Olorode, in whom I'm much pleased, as I am equally, to all that the good Lord has given me to father and mentor. I must appreciate 
perpetually the first lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Her Excellency, Distinguished Senator, Uluremi Tinimbu C.O.N., who despite very tight schedule has come all the way to commission this project. Yes, yes, yes. People tell me you will be here. I told people you will be here. I told people my association with the Tinubus dated back over two decades. Shiva Debayo of Bangkola Yoku was the anchor. He died 17 years ago. And the association dated back before his death. Mommy, I thank you very much. I am delighted to be here today at the commissioning of Diamond Center here in Leki, Lagos State. I am here to honor a great man who is also a member of the Board of Trustees of the New Era Foundation, Sir Dr. Kesintin Adebukola Adebutu, CFR, an industrialist, a renowned philanthropist and business mogul. As we gather in this multi specialist center, we are not just here to commission a building, but we are ushering in a new era of advanced medical care and innovation in Nigeria. Professor Bayomi, representing the Minister for Health, please pardon me. I think you are the Commissioner for Lagos. Please pardon me. I must say that proper diagnosis is the bedrock of quality health care delivery. Therefore, this facility will further strengthen Nigeria's effort in repositioning the health care sector and aid quality health care delivery for Nigerians. This truly gladdens my heart. This event is also crucial as advanced imaging services plays crucial role in timely diagnosis. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So to the glory of Almighty God, I commission 
Diamond Center to God and also to Nigerians, our neighbors, Africa, and the world. <laughs> Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The day finally came. So to the glory of God, the commissioning of Garnet Center by Excellency Senator Olure Tumubu, COA, First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, on the day that the Lord has made, 18th of July.